Stress incontinence has three main ways of treatment. Uh, the most conservative way is with um, improvement of the pelvic floor musculature to help block urine escaping. Uh, some patients are able to do pelvic exercises on their own, commonly known as Kegel exercises, in which case pelvic floor physical therapy can be so helpful in actually teaching the brain and body to work together. The other treatments for stress incontinence are surgical in nature. The older version is implanting a sling material to act as a hammock to support the urethra uh, so that the muscles can work better to help close um, the urethra so urine cannot escape. It's a small outpatient surgery, but it is nevertheless a surgery itself. It can use either a synthetic material or we can harvest the patient's own fascial tissue, which is a tough covering um, over some of the musculature to act as a sling. A newer treatment is um, called Bulkamid, and this is injected into the submucosa of the urethra. Acting very similar to lip plumpers that plump up the thickness of, the, of your lips, injecting this into the urethra plumps up the lining of the urethra and to help close it off. Bulkamid came out and has been a real game changer. It's very effective. The treatment is done in an operating room, but only takes about five minutes. The downtime is simply the fact that the patient will have some sort of sedation usually. You may see a little bit of um, pink blood in the urine because it is injected with a needle. You may have a little bit of stinging and burning when they urinate. The risk of urinary retention or not being able to urinate afterwards is very minimal and is typically very, very um, short in duration, perhaps overnight, if that at all. Um, and the patients that have had this have been extremely pleased with the results.